Hello and welcome. My name is Jochen Retter and I'm responsible for innovation, product development and industrialization at AST International. I present to you the transformation and experiences of AST with the transformation from a mechanics company into a sensor or software company. First, let me give you an overview of the talk. I will start with a retrospective of the company history, the old and new products, and will describe the transformation in our experiences. In the end, would be a four words summary and outlook. The company was founded about 250 years ago already and started as a mill at a small river. 150 years later, the company was taken over by Robert Seufer and began to produce poor mechanic products like coat hooks and other things. In the 1980s, the production of mechatronic products started and step by step more complex mechatronic switches like stock switches or complex rotary switches have been developed and manufactured. As everybody knows, the business for switches is declining year by year and the company was sold by the owner family in 2019 to accelerate the transformation into an automotive sensor supplier. As we can see on the picture within two years, new processes and methods have to be established. So as we see, development of an automotive supplier goes always along with increasing process demands. The technological move from a mechanical control element supplier to electric controls and sensors was already in the DNA of the company. Today, we develop and produce multidimensional sensors, so-called state of function sensors. These sensors calculate or interpret through functional safety and cybersecurity validation a physical or logical value for an ECU or a system. Examples of that sensor type are sensors for the detection of the thermal runaway of lithium ion batteries or special gas or fluid sensors with special analytic features. The big picture of the transformation process is shown here. On the y-axis is shown the increasing engineering maturity with functional safety and cybersecurity requirements included. On the x-axis is shown the timeline of the transformation. We began the transformation with a technology change. Technology improvement is very easy to be supported by the engineers. A step-by-step -step mindset follows. And with the help of an experienced partner, we climbed the mountain continuously step-by-step. Now, functional safety templates and product development according to ISO 262 are in place. Software development according to Automotive Spice, level two is nearly done, and cybersecurity methods have been started. End of the year, there is an organizational change to an agile and product-oriented organization foreseen. What have been the drivers of the AST transformation? As said before, it has been a technological move towards modern state of function sensors. It has been also uh, new software methodologies according to ASPICE level two until three. And of course, demanding sensors have typically functional safety fulfillment requirements. Typically it's ACLB to ACLC. Cybersecurity measures arising from future growing attack surfaces are also content for new sensors. And finally, agile working methods will be foreseen and the start is postponed to the fourth quarter of 22. What are the barriers of the AST transformation? First, the full understanding of the RFQs of the customer is very important. Sometimes a lot of side information, especially to functional safety and cybersecurity, is transferred step by step or added later to the RFQ. How can we break up engineering silos towards system thinking? How to get people out of their comfort zone? And how to deal with existing organizational structures inside mechanics, hardware and software? And how to introduce processes, methods and tools along with the daily work? So this is our change concept of the transformation. The first step is to establish the change as a project and provide money and time for new methods, processes and tools. 
Some help was indeed that some customers themselves suffer a little bit from the kind of transformation. So the understanding of the new features of functional safety and cybersecurity was performed in a kind of partnership. In addition, a small company can obviously be transformed much faster than a bigger company. The most important transformation booster was that the change team was formed by experienced and elder engineers, so called by formal or informal leaders. So the people in the same age or even the younger people um, follow much more easily and go out of their comfort zones. The big picture of the development, we have a classical three disciplines and three pillars approach. It consists, as you can see on the classical three pillars, the disciplines, mechanics, hardware and software. The system approach is divided according to ISO 26262 into requirements, engineering, design and implementation and testing. Let us look now in more details onto the transformation. The key factors for the project management. Starting with the key factors of the project management, here the transformation is very moderate. Jira and Confluence have been established and have in some fields nearly taken over the classical office tools. The final transformation of the project management will be anyway done later with full or in conjunction with the full agile methodology. The impact on system engineering, however, was very huge. System engineering real, needs really a mindset change. A product ownership has to be defined on a system level. SysML and Enterprise Arch Architect have to be introduced. Hardware, software, and mechanics now have common tools, use common engineering data and common methods. The system engineering mindset is supported in that way that an engineer who has an overarching view is promoted as a kind of system engineer. He is product responsible and will later be the product owner, owner consistent with the agile methodology. Looking now on the tools. The system engineering approach is supported with common tools from R&D to production. And this methodology decreases the silo thinking. A key factor for the transformation was an overarching vector consulting support for design, test and methodology of functional safety, cybersecurity and automotive spice level two. In the end, this enables the basis and acceptance for the transformation regarding both or regarding three points, technology, mindset and organization. So we have here, as you can see, common tools over all disciplines. The key factors for transformation of the mechanic departments. The effect from switches to sensors is very moderate. Maybe even some decrease of requirements is there. Sensors are in general not visible parts. Typically, one mechanical engineer is doing one or two sensor projects, so there is in fact no partition of work. The only change was just a more modular approach and the understanding very small is very beautiful. Looking now onto the hardware department, the key factors for the transformation of the hardware department. The change was also very smooth as some of the hardware principle change, but not the tools. Design methods from ISO 26262.5 had the strongest impact. Templates for the FMEDL, FMEDA help a lot, especially in the modular hardware design. Typically, we have one to two hardware engineers per sensors, and the sensor is typically below 60 parts, so the hardware is not that complicated. In some, we have only upon about 15% increase of headcount necessary due to the ISO 26262, as the main effort is mainly in the concept phase. The key factor to have the production in-house for fast samples within days stays the same. So we can say everything smooth and moderate, if looking to the software department. Software department had a big 
change. The key factors for the transformation of the software departments are a completely new tool chain, tool chain coming from China, Chira to enterprise architect, MathWorks, Vectorcast, requires long introduction and learning phase for the employees. This overall effect was underestimated. It created resource conflicts in other projects and slowed down the change. In the end, two to three times more software engineers are needed now to, to fulfill modern automotive standards, like ISO 26262 and of course, automotive spies and cybersecurity. To understand this high number, it must be taken into account that for switches, only few software engineers have, to have been needed. But the good news is, that these requirements are anyway main part of the AST strategy to create so-called state of function sensors, which are including functional safety and cybersecurity requirements. The key factors for transformation of the verification and validation. This is also a big step. The transformation of verification and validation from mechanics to many sensors and software is significant. It requires as well new methods and tools new people, but luckily the operative verification validation is then later in the V model, model, so we could learn from previous transformation events. The methods and tool improvements, as well as the onboarding of people, have been less time critical. What is important is we need also a mind ch change there. The responsibility of verification and validation is enhanced to early detection of deviations already in the requirements phase. This is new, but has been easily adapted. The verification and validation people feel now much more integrated and responsible than before. So coming to the summary, the main experiences in four words or four sentences, heritage, reviews and methods from earlier times tend to concentrate on ancient facts and underestimated software significance and impact. The help of an experienced partner who knows the development methods and tools by his own experience does help a lot in acceptance and in trust of the transformation. Common tools and methods promote product-oriented thinking from development to production. And finally, people. The most important takeaway from this session is People are doing the transformation. Take elder people as transformers. The young will follow automatically. Coming to the outlook then. An agile group training is planned for the fourth quarter 22. Cybersecurity uh, compliance is started now, more or less today. Organization strengthening of a product-oriented or organization will replace a discipline-oriented organization. Optimization will done in 2023. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Johan Retter. Have you any questions to the talk?